27th of June 2013, market opened positive and trade upwards for most of the morning. In the afternoon, it actually retraced and trade off its high and closed poor up 13.3118. Now, after the severe sell down, we have a technical rebound here which met with the resistance at about 3230, followed by another sell down that made a new low. Here we have a very weak rebound. Now, market is actually way oversold, so downside potential could be limited also. But on a short term basis, it's likely to be volatile and choppy. Looking at the weekly charts, it's quite evident after a series of down bar. This way itself, we have a up bar. This presents a temporary hot to the downward movements, but nevertheless, market is still biased towards the downside. It just is way oversold. So, short term basis, downside potential could be limited. The only strong stock worth watching is Brumo. We have a very nice trust breakout yesterday. Today from a small bar and uh, trend is still intact. This is ISDN. This stock was trending very nicely, but today we have some severe sell, uh, selling and uh, likely to be uh, negative on a short term basis. Uh, at most, this stock may trade sideways, so I'd like to see how we actually turn out. This is OKH, this stock actually broke out on the upside. Um, so, this are a few strong stocks. And um, most of the stocks are just weak, in particular the banks. This is DBS. After severe sell downs, actually followed by reactions here, and uh, today actually closed extremely poor. Same for UOB. Again, uh, this is uh, negatives. OCBC, likewise, today closed very poor. You notice the increase in volume. This is generally negative. Likewise for property stocks, capital land, capital land, same. All right, most of them have this type of uh, negative bar. So on a short term basis, it may actually continue to move down, but it's just that actually the downside potential has become limited after the severe sell down. Likewise for the REITs, for example, Maples Logistics, again, today actually make a high but close extremely poor. So again, more likely to trade downwards. Chinese stocks like Maidus, all these are generally poor. So on the short term basis, uh, most of the stocks are still uh, very weak. Uh, it's just that actually uh, the downside potential is limited. So it may become range bound, uh, likely to be choppy and volatile. Uh, so again, uh, one of the options during a choppy market is to stay away.